Hello, my name is Sam and I'm here today to give you a quick demo of some basic Prolog functionality. Hopefully this video will be a series of videos where I go into more depth, but today we're just going to do the basics. So as you can see we're here in Ubuntu, we've got a terminal and we've got SWI Prolog installed on this system. So how do we start with Prolog? simple way we can just type prolog. Another thing you can do is you can type swipple which is I think the recommended way to do it but on my system that actually launches a slightly older version of prolog so I want to use the most current version so I'm going to type prolog. Okay well now we're on a prolog command prompt and you can see that it says that I'm using SWO Prolog 64-bit version 7.3.4. So what do we want to do? Well the first program that anyone writes is of course Hello World. So how would we go about writing Hello World in Prolog? Well I'm going to launch an editor. Now SWO Prolog comes with a built-in editor and I'm going to use that because it is the most useful program for editing prolog files. It has really good uh, colorization, it auto formats, and it gives you lots of good information if you've got any syntax errors in your code. So this is the goal that I'm going to set to open a new file. So I want to edit a new file called hello world PL. PL is the prolog extension. Sometimes can conflict with Perl. So if you've got Perl or you do a lot of programming in Perl, then be aware that prolog can also use the same file extension, which can be a bit annoying. Anyway, so I'm going to hit enter to bring up the editor. And you can see that uh, prolog will turn to true because it managed to succeed in that goal by building this editor. So, I'm going to set a goal, I'm going to call it go for the beginning, and we're going to get it to write hello world. So, this is um, a command where we set it up so that if I ask Pro Prolog to prove goal, in order to do that it will need to write hello world. So I'm going to, the, the Prolog editor is basically a clone of Emacs. So if you're familiar with Emacs then you'll be right at home um, and if you're not familiar with Emacs then it's quite good to go into the Emacs and run this tutorial. Um, I'm going to save that and I'm going to go back to my prologue prompt. You can see also, I've just made that file. Now I need to actually load that file into my current prologue session. So to do this, you can do it in a number of ways. One is with command consult, or shorthand, you can just type the name of your file in square brackets. And all prologue commands will end with a, a full stop or a period, so we need to remember that. And again, Prolog has said, so I've asked it to, the command I've asked is, can you prove that you can load the file hello world? And Prolog says, yes, I can prove that, I have done it. It is true. So I now want to prove the goal, go. So go, full stop. And da-da, I've written hello world. So in order to prove go, Prolog needs to write hello world. And so it has done that. Now, what about if we want to say hello to some other things? Now, we can go back to edit. See, well, say we closed this. 
I can bring up the editor again. This time we don't need the file, so we're going to say edit hello world because this file already exists in the directory that we're in and it brings up the editor again. And the first thing I'll demonstrate is if I just make a simple change, hello to Sam, I'll save that. Now in Prolog, to sort of recompile it, I guess that's the word, then we can just simply say make. And that is now already loaded into my current Prolog session. So now if I type go, it says hello Sam. So let's go back to the editing. So at the moment I've just got this term right. A slightly better version of this is format. And this works in a similar way to how sort of C does things with like printf. So I can put curly w and then sam here. So this is an argument that's going to get passed in to the text where this w is. So make that. Also hello Sam. So maybe I should give a different argument. So let's go hello Bob. Save that. Make it again. Yeah. Hello Bob. I wonder if I want to pass an argument here from my the goal. How would I do that? So I can do this by putting a variable here, name. Okay, well, the, the first thing I'm going to say here is because Prolog works with unification, you're always going to want to have a variable twice um, to unify things. So here, it's, it's just on its own, and so um, the editor has highlighted this in this color to just kind of inform me that maybe this isn't exactly what I want. So and then I'm going to put the variable in here. And you can see now that as I did that, I underlined it. So I know that those two variables are the same. Anyway, so now I have to give this an argument. So I'm going to say hello, Fred. And we get hello, Fred. What about now if I want to pass an argument or to set a goal from the command line in the bash shell? So I'm going to change this back a second to just go and I'm just going to put the world here. So if I'm in Prolog and I want to exit back onto the bash shell, then I can type halt as well, and that will close Prolog. So before I launched Prolog with just the single Prolog, but now I want to launch it and pass in the program that we've written. Hello uh, world. Yeah. So we use minus s for that, and then we also want to say what goal we want to start with. So we want minus g for goal and we called it go. Then after that we want to just halt. So now this command will launch prolog, load the program hello world, run the goal go and then run the goal halt which will exit prolog. So this will just output hello world into the bash shell. And you can see that's done that. And we didn't put a new line, so it's gone that, so that's a bit ugly. So maybe we should edit that. So let's go into Prolog. 
edit. Hello world. And we want to put a new line. So that is slash n in format. Save that. Make it. Just test it. We haven't loaded the program. So. Let's load the program. And we've changed it so we've got a new line. So if we halt again. Go back to our command here. So load prologue with the option F minus S for hello world and minus G for the goal that we want to achieve. And then the second goal, alt, hello world on a nice new line. So one last thing I'm gonna tell you is that if you're in prologue and you want to clear the screen, you can do that with tty minus clear. And that's the end of the tips for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you saw a slightly different version of an introduction to prologue to some of the other videos that are out there. If you've got any questions, um, that'd be great. Otherwise, stay tuned and hopefully we will show a lot of other interesting videos of things that we will be covering in prologue. Bye for now.